Hi everyone, this is a continuation of the previous video where I said I'm going to cover all these subcommands up until this point. But I had stopped at this one, Transcolor, because the video was getting too long. So in this video, I'm going to cover the remaining subcommands, style and X style. Region is still going to be a separate video that follows after this video. So if you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. All right, so styles, I have shown you the styles as well before, but let me just quickly run through some of the styles that you can apply using the style command or sub command. Um, you can go to this link to get the list of all the available styles. Um, plus is to apply, negative is to unapply or deactivate, caret is to toggle. And so let me show you an example or few examples of how you can apply styles and what kind of styles that are available. But I use the notepad as per the usual. And this makes the maximize button to be disabled. So if I go ahead and run it, then as you can see, the maximize button has been disabled. Let me bring up my uh, yellow circle again so you can see better. So here the maximize button is gone. Um, if I change this to plus, then it's going to come back on like that. If I change it to toggle, then it's going to do toggle on and off like that. So you can do the same with the minimize button. So this is the minimize buttons uh, style code, so to speak. So minimize button has been uh, disabled, enabled and so on and so forth. You can also toggle the title bar. Let me just go ahead and run it. And it becomes a little bit weird. As you can see, the title bar is, goes away and then comes back, goes away and comes back, as you can see, like that. Um, you can try to remove the vertical scroll of the notepad by using this command. Um, but that's not going to remove this vertical scroll, unfortunately. And I'll explain you why. I just ran it, but it doesn't work, even though I put this as a minus. Um, and that's because you need to apply that to the control within the notepad and control within the notepad is something that you can obtain by using the winget command like that where you get edit one and the status bar uh, within this notepad window as the list of controls that you get All right so you confirm the control name in this way and then you will get the handle to the window of the control, um, which is the edit one that I'm going to look at. And this is going to give me the unique ID of the edit one control of this notepad window. So I'll just grab all of that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the winset style command um, and provide the unique ID of that edit one control in notepad. And in this case, I should be able to remove the vertical scroll bar as you saw just now, I can make it go toggle to bring it back up. So it's up on now, if I run it again, it gets it doesn't get removed. But if I go negative, then you should be able to get rid of it. For some reason, the toggle uh, doesn't remove it only switches it on. Now while we are here, I'm just going to show you another command that is control, which is something I'm going to cover more deeply in my GUI tutorial. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to show you how you can use the control command to apply styles to uh, different controls within an, a window like notepad as well. For example, this style is going to make my text typed into a notepad. be aligned centrally. So right now, this is aligned to the left. But if I go ahead and run this, this is going to make the text inside this edit control be aligned in the center like that. It's toggle on and off as you can see it's Kara. So if I run it again, then it's going to be aligned back to the left. So that's something that you can do uh, with the control command. And like I said, this is going to be something that I'm going to cover more deeply in my GUI tutorial. So 
here's another one I'm just quickly show you hide and show allows you to hide and show the text within this notepad control so if I go ahead and run it then it's going to um, hide that and after a while it's going to show the text back up again like that now you can try to add a style that allows you to add a vertical scroll um, to a window uh, let me just get out of this notepad and open up another one so right now i've got a vertical sc scroll if you try to add another vertical scroll to this notepad window what's going to happen is you're going to end up with two vertical scrolls so this one is the one that i just added so this is the original one the second vertical scroll on the right has no purpose um, because it doesn't really do anything so I've got I can type something here. If I scroll down, then I can type something else here, so I can mark the beginning and the end of the end of the notepad. But this isn't going to do anything, as you can see. It doesn't really help me in any way to scroll up and down. It doesn't even scroll down, so it, it's pretty useless. But that's something you can kind of play around with if you wish. And so, so that's the style. And then there's also the extended style i've only got one example for the extended style which is going to be the tool window i've shown you this uh before but let me show you what it does let me bring up my taskbar again so the tool window style extended style will uh, remove this icon remove the minimize button maximize button and convert this close button into something smaller and something that looks uh, not as nice as this one as well as it will hide it from the taskbar, the, the, the task icon from the taskbar. So if you go ahead and run this, then as you can see, the icon's gone, minimize, maximize buttons are gone. You've got this smaller X button to close it out. And that notepad icon it has disappeared from the taskbar. So that's that's uh, one of the extended styles. And I haven't looked into this so much, but here is the link where you can get potentially other uh, list of extended styles let me just bring it up like that so here are some codes that you might want to play around with to see if you can apply different extended styles uh, but I haven't explored this in detail so I have nothing else to show you at the moment for the extended style there is a script that you can find from this website where there's going to be a script that gives you let me just go ahead and use this script to run it a GUI like that and that GUI will check the style and the extended style of the active window just like the Windows Spy but checks the window style and extended style like that and so uh, right now for example this window I, I think it uses mouse over instead of the active window so as you can see my window maximize button is ticked right now right but if you uh, remove the maximize or disable the maximize button uh, by running uh, I can't run it I have to bring up site bring up site and and run this using site so I got winset style notepad executable uh, where I'm going to disable the maximize button if I go ahead and run it that maximize button got disabled and when i look at this gui as you can see the ws underscore maximize box has been ticked off now i can add this back in oops add this back in and run it actually run it and see that the tick box has been or checkbox has been checked for the maximize box like that all right so that's some uh, script you can use the link to it is what happened to link to it here we go that's the link to it so you can find this link in my website as well um, last thing I wanted to show you if you use VLC player like I do to play media then you can use the winset style to take out the title bar um, of the VLC player so let me just bring up VLC media player like that and apply always on top and control send control h control h is going to make this media thing media control thing go away so if i do control h on it it will make the media 
control panel go away as well as the uh, menu here so if i go ahead and run it what's going to make it look like is it's going to make it into a frameless video player where you know it kind of looks like a let me just uh play one of the videos that i've got uh one of my oops it's very big but um if i downsize it as you can see it becomes kind of like a, a picture in picture mode of uh videos so this is something that you can do uh, with the VLC player or any other media players that you might use. All right, this is it for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.